हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज कल्याण फ्रॉम ब्लैक बॉक्स टेक एंड वेलकम टू एंगुलर सीरीज पार्ट टू सो इन दिस एपिसोड विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट टेम्पलेट एंड मॉडल सो विदाउट फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एज आई डिस्क्राइब बिफोर आई विल बी यूजिंग द कोड कमांड टू ओपन आवर विजुअल स्टूडियो सो लेट्स चेंज आवर डायरेक्ट्री टू द फोल्डर which have our projects we already created in the last episode so let's move into the desktop and then we'll just uh, write few of the letters and hit tab then it will automatically tell you the folder name and once we inside that folder we'll use our code space dot to open the application into our visual studio also uh we'll also open our browser uh in our development mode so let's start that using ng serve so now you can see the application is running on local host 4200 let's open our browser and paste this url i will keep this open in our uh, in a side of uh, this visual studio now you can see this page have a title of angular 02 hero that's the title we have added during uh, uh, the project name which has been added as a title so this title it's coming from this index.html which is the entry point index page uh in our application so this is the title uh so if we change that it will uh, reflect it here but you can see there are other items also available in the page like this title welcome to angular 02 first episode and then there is a logo and few of the links so if you see this index.html you don't see all this uh, html uh, elements uh, in the page because this body tag don't have anything available only we can see a custom html element tag or custom html tag which is not available uh, in uh, as a normal html uh, tags so this is a custom tag app root so where it is coming from so let's move to our app directory and you can see we have few files like app component.html this is our main application component and this is this is the class file of that same so now if we open this app uh, .component.html you can see all of the html tags and all the content is available here so you can see this title welcome to and this is uh, this title something uh, covered with some curly braces double curly braces is available so you can see like this welcome to but the rest of the things is dynamic we cannot see where it is coming from and also you can see this image is there and all other text is available here so everything available but we cannot see where the, this uh, this additional text is coming from now let's move to the our class file of that particular component so this is our main component class where uh, we have already defined our component is a component decorator and inside we defined the selector so the selector every component uh, uses selector and you can see this app root uh is the custom selector we have defined in here which we have used in in this index.html so if you see this this is coming from there so now uh, again go back to this app component ts yes, and you can see this title is coming from here angular 02 first episode so welcome to is already available in our html template so yesterday i already told you so template url we have added our external templates uh, which is in scope of this class it's available here and uh, this component uh, within this component this is the variable which hold this complete string 
and this title uh, in this HTML is available uh, and uh, this view has been rendered using this template expression and this title as a variable here so let's do some modification to see how it's changed so now go back to what uh, component.ts so just change it to first to second and save com hit command save you can see immediately that is updated so now it's being changed to second so for a moment let's uh, change this to title bar so and see what is happening so you can see suddenly this welcome to is available because it's already there in our template but the expression uh, the variable which we defined under this expression title that is no longer available because this title previously taking the data from this uh, com from this component class and this is the variable now as this being changed so our template is no longer available to pull the data from our class and display in this page so let's change this title to title var what we have changed and you can see it's came back again from our page now for a moment just understand how this templating works so this is template expression you can do anything here even you can do some uh, com uh, you can do some multiply or you can add some values here so let's see one plus one and hit save what is happening so you can see it is uh, working here so you can use values where like any uh, numbers string anything like that and it will display or render in the page so now let's go back to the again our title bar now uh, this is currently a simple string so let's create a object here so for an example we can put a name of obg as a variable and then within this there is an inside this object let's put this back or and this will be an object okay so this will be no longer a variable so and remove this so make it as a simple javascript object structure so again this title var this in this component it cannot access again because this structure has been changed into our component so how you can access back that data again now as simple object structure what you need to do this is our variable and this can be access to our dot notation so then again change back to put just obj dot title var so if you hit save command s or control s then you can see that came back again so that way actually you can define all this as a variable inside your component class and then change one by one for an example this alternate text can come from a particular endpoint or particular you can actually define some variable within your class you can also change all this source of the image path uh, uh, as a variable so in later point of time we'll understand how this can be accessed from a particular uh, services uh, which will actually uh, use some services to call uh, our uh, backend and then backend will return that data and then we'll use that data to bind inside our template to display into the end user so the flow is generally our model will access the data uh, using our service and once that is back we'll use our template expression to bind that value to our html template uh, or then the component template and then in the end user will be able to display in the actual page so in the single application scenario this is a single application and index.html don't hold anything in the body and will automatically load on every item say for an example we have three url home about us contact us if you hit uh, home page then in the body the body home component will be loaded and also there can be my lots of my child component inside that and also similarly if you go to 
about page then about component to it load along with its child component so that is the idea so if you inspect that you can see this body this inside this app root which is defined in your index.html inside that all the content is loaded so i hope you are enjoying this series uh, in the next series i will discuss uh, the next uh, next item in the angular so till then uh, goodbye thank you